So royalty-free libraries, what are they? Should you do business with them? How do they pay? Are they really free? Are they licensing music for free? What's the deal with royalty-free libraries? So I get this question a lot. Royalty-free libraries, while the name may imply that something is free, um, it's actually not. All the term royalty-free actually means is that once a client buys music from some library out there that's royalty-free, the client will not have to worry about paying royalties for using that song over and over again or broadcasting it over and over and over again. The business structure is set up that you, uh, as a client, will only pay one fee as sort of a license buyout, basically, to use that song in your TV show, your web show, your commercial, your movie, whatever it is that you want to use. So as a composer or a musician or a producer like me, if you're thinking about getting your music placed in some music libraries and you come across a few that say that they're royalty free, this is how the structure for a transaction with them will normally work. You'll approach them, uh, you'll submit some music, and if they like it, they'll offer you a contract or maybe a per song deal. And essentially, they're going to split that upfront fee that they get. So let's say hypothetically, they charge $100 per, per license for one of their clients that comes and uses their songs. Uh, a client comes to their library, they use one of your tracks. So typically, they're going to split that fee with you. Now, some of them are going to do 80-20, give you the majority of it. Some of them might actually even do 50-50. Um, it just depends. There's really no industry standard. A lot of them have different sort of uh, business uh, arrangements and structures. So there's many different ways that you can have a business deal uh, lined up with them. Now, in the long run for TV, film, music licensing, I don't recommend you invest in these kind of companies uh, heavily because the name of the game when you want to make a living uh, getting your music licensed is um, getting passive income royalties, right? That'll last you years and years into the future by getting your songs placed on TV shows that will air over and over again, both in the US and internationally. So using these royalty-free libraries will not open that door up for you. You might make some great money uh, up front in the short run and every time your music gets licensed and people make great money doing this. I know some producers who do this all the time, but you got to always have new licenses coming in to be able to make a living. Uh, you cannot rely on a TV show that uses one of uh, one of your songs and then gets played multiple times um, for you to earn those passive income royalties, uh, you know, five, 10, maybe even 20 years down the road. So that's the deal with royalty, royalty free uh, libraries. Hopefully that answers your question. If you want to learn more about the TV film music licensing business, then click this video right here and you'll be sent a free crash course which will teach you everything you need to know to get started today.